Okay guys, the thumbnail of this video is not clickbait. <laughs> this accessory here literally changed my life. So this is a flip-flap type of flat panel, meaning it can open itself or close itself uh, automatically. So I can just say like, open the cover and it opens. And I can say, close the cover and it closes. And I can say like, hey, change the brightness of the light because it's too bright for me. So let's put it to uh, roughly a quarter brightness as it was. And there it is, it is quarter brightness. And everything is controllable directly from a PC. And something like Nina can take advantage of it, including with the Nina Flat Wizard, for instance. And this is amazing because it really allows me to be lazy and it's, it, I don't know, it makes such a difference not having to go into the night when it's cold and everything to take my flat frames. I can just take it, take them automatically on my telescope. It's absolutely amazing. So what are we talking about today? This is the RB Focus Excalibur. RB Focus stands for Robotic Beyond Focus. And this is a small family company located in Spain. And this is honestly uh, an awesome product. They sent me two products to review. One is this uh, flat panel. And the other one is this uh, control center here, which is a Windows-based PC uh, that has controllable power outputs. It has tons of USB ports. It has some adjustable in terms of power uh, intensity outputs for dew heaters, that kind of stuff. It has excellent Wi-Fi and it's all around amazing, highly recommended, but I'll do a review of that in a follow-up video. For now, I want to con concentrate on this RB Focus flat panel and how it makes life easy for me. Um, and I think it can make like, life easy for you as well. So let me explain a bit how this is set up. So first to install this on your telescope, it's basically just uh, some uh, adhesive that seems to be easy to remove uh, in the end. So I have adhesive that is holding the flat panel itself. I have adhesive that is holding the robot, robot arm on the top as well. So it's very easy to just put on your telescope. You choose also the diameter or radius of your flat panel for your specific telescope. Okay, so how is this all set up and controllable? So first things first, this is not a ZW product. It's from the RB Focus company, small family company in Spain. So that means it cannot be controlled from the ESI Air. It can be controlled from a Windows PC with Nina. For instance, the Gaius S2 from the same company uh, here. You can also control it via something like the StellarMate Pro or Ecos slash KStars type of uh, products. And the way on Windows to use it, as I personally use Nina to control it, and that's via an ASCOM driver that's available on the RB Focus uh, website. And the computer itself is connected via USB to the uh, robotic arm. It's also, uh, I'm using one of the output DC power ports of that computer uh, to uh, connect it and power the flat panel slash robotic arm. And there's this uh, little uh, cable there that uh, is installed between the robotic arm and the flat panel to provide the power to the uh, flat panel. And within Nina, I'll show you using the Nina Touch interface, uh, which has equivalency in the desktop version. So it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so I'm on the Touch and Stars interface for Nina, which I have shown in a previous video. It's a, it's a touch interface to Nina. If you aren't aware of it, it's absolutely amazing. It's get, getting better every single day. And uh, I have my equipment uh, connection list, and you can see towards the bottom, we have the flat device, which is our little flat panel here. And I can disconnect the flat device, uh, and I can connect it again just to show you that it's, uh, it's simply uh, you know, connecting it. It's, it's a simple ASCOM driver. And when I connect it, there's this uh, red light bulb icon that appears in the list of, uh, of items that we have on the uh, touch interface. And I can you know, open the cover. I can close the cover. I can turn on the light. So uh, if we look at it, the light is completely turned on. And by the way, if you open the cover using this uh, button there, it turns off the light automatically because if you have the cover open, you don't need the light, right? So it's being a bit smart. That's why I'm opening it manually to show you the light. And the brightness can be adjusted from zero to 4,092 steps. So we have 4,092 steps of brightness that are available to us. I can bring the, dark, the brightness down a lot to uh, level 100, for instance, go to level 1,000, or go back to level something like 4,000 to have like, oh, oops, four is actually very little brightness, 4,000 to have 
top brightness there. And this uh, manual interface there is also available directly in the Nina hardware tab where you connect the flat panel. So this is a one-to-one -one kind of uh, connection there. But of course, because all of those features are available, you can use that to automate stuff for instance, you can use the flat wizard in Nina to take your flats using this flat panel in a way that you can specify, okay, Nina, I want my flat frames to be one second long. Please adjust the brightness of the flat panel for my particular filter so that we achieve one second long exposures for my flat frames while the histogram is roughly at 30% of the, uh, the, the total available um, dynamic range of the sensor and our number of ADUs. And it just does it and it's, uh, it's absolutely amazing because it truly changes my astral life. I don't need to, you know, get the flat panel out. I don't need to go out in the cold and put it on top of the telescope. I don't need to power it via my 12 volt battery. I don't need to adjust the brightness while looking at the histogram in Nina and the ESI Air in the Toptec Astro Station in the StellarMate Pro, etc. Uh, until I have exactly the right brightness so that I can take my one second exposure or slightly more than one second exposure. It's just automated, super quick, and it's done like that. And that's amazing. It's also available as part of the sequence. Uh, so for instance, in my sequence uh, that's not my sequence. That's the, uh, the control of the, uh, the PC itself, the gas S2. The sequence is there. So in my sequence control, you can see that my start sequence has an open flat panel uh, cover step. And the stop sequence at the very end has the closed flat panel uh, item here. And so that means that in the morning, I've already used that quite a bit. In the morning, I wake up, my telescope is parked and the flat panel is off while also being closed. So I have my dust cap on already. I don't need to do anything. It's just like that, fully automated. And for a lazy geek like me, it's absolutely amazing. And I absolutely love that. Anyway, uh, that's within the, uh, the sequence itself. You can also use the uh, flat wizard there. And in the flat wizard, both in the desktop interface and in this touch interface, you can say that you want auto exposure, auto brightness, are sky flat, and for me, I want um, auto brightness, which basically tells uh, Nina that I want Nina to control the brightness of the flat panel to achieve a desired exposure length. And I can say I want 20 flats. I'm gonna go for gain zero offset eight. This is the ASI 585MM Pro camera, monochrome. And I can say the minimum brightness is zero. I want to give it access to the full range of brightness of the flat panel. I know it doesn't need to be full uh, full range, but whatever, I'll, I'll give it access to everything. I want my uh, mean target to be 30% um, of the histogram, tolerance of 10% on top of that, and my filter will be luminance filter with binning one-on-one. And here is a very important setting. It is my target exposure time. Right now it's set to uh, two seconds. I'm gonna set it to one second. So basically I'm telling Nina, like, hey, make this work so that at an exposure time of one second, I get exactly my 30% histogram for perfect flat frames. And so I'm gonna turn off the light of the balcony and, uh, and do this process. And here we are in the darkness. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is just start auto brightness there, pop. And now it's gonna, you see it's setting the brightness to half of the total brightness available and then half that again and each time it is testing out to see like, hey, where is the histogram of my image? And do I need to lower bri the brightness even more? What do I need to do? It's basically gradually going to find the point of perfect brightness for taking the 20 flats that we have asked the flat wizard to take. And there it is, it has started. It's taking the flat frames and you can see it's taken seven frames, eight frames. It has found uh, a brightness of, I'm not sure what brightness it uses, but there it is, it's done. It opens up the flat panel so that we can, we are ready to go for the night. And that's, my flat frames are taken like that. Pop. <laughs> I think it's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this. Okay, so with that, we see how it works overall. Uh, it's, I think it's amazing, but it is, as usual, not cheap, which is to be expected from a small family company that that basically makes these things by hand, or not quite, but you see the, you, you, get, you get the picture. It is, I believe, 330 euro uh, or something like that to uh, buy this robotic flat panel. I think it's amazing. Uh, I, I, I love how it works. I think it's great and I, I highly recommend it. Uh, but, you know, you can choose uh, not to use that, but I think it makes a huge, 
huge difference in terms of being lazy. And you know the channel, the name is not by mistake. I like being efficient, which actually means being lazy. And uh, would you be interested in such a device? Do you already own one? Do you have other recommendations of similar devices uh, from different brands? Let us know down in the comments. While you're at it, you may go and like the video. It really helps the channel out. And you can also subscribe to the channel if you're new, in which case, welcome to the channel. And if you want to support the channel even more and you're planning on buying anything from Agena, High Point Scientific, or even Amazon, if you do so after clicking one of the links that I have down in the description, it will help me out at no cost to you. If you want to help sponsor the channel directly, basically make my work possible, uh, you can become a member of the channel using the join button next to the subscribe button, or you can become a Patreon supporter. The link is down in the description. Some of my Patreon ranks have access to my videos early and without ads. And you guys, you know it. You are the ones making all of this possible. Thank you so much for your generosity. With that, again, I'd love to see your comments. What do you think of such a device? Is it uh, completely extraneous, you really don't need it, which is true, you really don't need it. But once you have tasted it, I don't think you can get away from it. It's just too convenient. I don't feel like using my other telescopes anymore. <laughs> you see the trouble, you see the problem. <laughs> So yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at right now. It's very addictive, uh, just like the hobby in general. Let me know down in the comments, like the video, etc. But more important than all of that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, whenever you can, to look up at the stars. And I'll see you next time.